Look what we found at the dump. Don't want to throw this in with the garbage. This is special. More precisely, I didn't find it, but a buddy of mine found this. While he was taking a load of trash to the local dump, he said it was sitting right on top of some garbage right where he pulled in with his truck. And he was like, I recognize that little alien anywhere. So he jumped out and grabbed it and threw it in the back of his truck. Um, he took a look around to see if there was anything else he could find. And he did find this, which looks like it's a brand new keyboard for it. And on top of that, he found a CD-ROM. But this was just with it, and I, I, I don't believe this belongs to this particular Alienware at all. Um, speaking of which, this is an old relic, an M17X, no R revision. So it's got a Intel Core 2 Duo of some sort, and it looks like it had Windows 7 on it can't really tell it's kind of rubbed off um, it is in terrible condition it's missing little feet pads um, it's banged up like crazy there's dense scratches and gouges all over it and I'm I'm not even sure if it works I haven't powered it up I, I don't have a charger for it um, and if you open it up, two hands, you can see why there was a keyboard with it. I'm guessing whoever owned this previously wanted to replace the keyboard and maybe got fed up trying to get into it because all these panels are loose and broken off and missing. Like, oh, I didn't even notice that. Look at it. It's missing the little rubber nub that keeps the screen from bashing into the keyboard and it's filthy absolutely filthy and I know it was at the dump but I don't know if this is dump stuff I'm, I'm thinking that's like Cheeto dust and um, on top of that the screen is separating from the case so I don't even know if it's going to work. I don't even know if this is uh, worth trying to save. Uh, like I said, I don't even know if it's going to turn on. We'll find out here in a few minutes because I'm going to dig out my universal charger and we'll see. We'll see. So I got my trusty universal charger, my Targus universal char charger um, alienware sized one I don't know if this is the right one I have two of them that fit in there just fine um, we're gonna see if this one fits correctly and charges it hopefully it doesn't let out all the, the smoke so well hey, hey. that's a good sign That is two. So, moment of truth. Let's see if it turns on. Oh, oh, oh man. There's a box in my way. Are they all that loud? Is that normal? I don't know. Look at that. SF10 for alien respawn. I don't think I will. What? Re resuming Windows? <laughs> did this have a, a hibernate state? It, it did. Holy cow. Oh, the trackpad doesn't work. Maybe it's not hooked up. Checkmate password. Is there a password? There's a password. All right, well, we're not gonna fight and try to get in here um, or try to guess the password of Mr. Checkmate. So what I'm gonna do is I'll nuke the hard drive, not right now, but I'll nuke it a little later and 
We'll see if we can get this new keyboard in there and hook some of these panels back on the correct way. I'm, I'm doubting they'll go back on. Maybe I'll have to use some double-sided adhesive tape. And maybe we can get this thing cleaned up and looking respectable again. And I don't know, maybe there's a cool project I could do with it, but I don't I don't really want to spend any money on this because it's it's so beat up and I imagine finding a new chassis for this thing is going to be worth more than... Um, it's going to cost more time and effort than anything I could ever get from reselling this piece. Um, we're going to just start tearing into this and since this is already loose, we're going to just take it off immediately. Well, there's your problem. We ain't even hooked up. So, <laughs> I know I said we were gonna take this all apart right now, but I'm, I'm kind of interested to know if the um, track pad will start working if I hook up this little ribbon cable. So, I'm gonna need two hands for this. Be right back. Okay, so I got the track pad hooked back up. The little ribbon cable went right in, no problems. That would be really nice if the trackpad just worked because I don't want to spend any money on this, like I said. So let's give it a go. God, everything's so shiny. Oh. Okay. DC adapter has been just uh, recommended 240 watts. Well, my, my chart, hey, I didn't notice that, but that's, that's a good sign. Um, my universal charger is only like 90 watts, so yeah, they would be uh, unhappy with that. Come on, check that. Oh, hey! Nice. All right. Shutting down. After taking off the uh, trackpad cover, I'm noticing that every single place where a screw or a clip goes into this is broken. <laughs> kind of sucks. <laughs> I just flipped it. All I did was flip it over and this fell off. And looking at it, seeing that at least there's screw holes left. Oh, wait, what? Please focus. Anyways, um, there's a plastic tab broken off in that. Um, it is a shame that the guy that tried to fix this just Hulk smashed his way through it. Um, another thing is I'm pretty blown away by how much of the inside of this Alienware is metal. It's very sturdily built. <laughs> Maybe that's why he couldn't get into it because it was so well built. Yeah, we got quad speakers. This thing's really cool. It's a shame. So now that we have the screws and those little inserts removed and safely set aside, it looks like we still need to remove this entire panel here. Uh, looking around it, I'm only seeing a screw here and a screw here. So I'm hoping when you remove those, I can remove this whole center section. We're about to find out. Screws are loose. And yeah, hey, look at that. Whilst we're in here, we should take it apart and New uh, thermal paste and stuff like that. HDD1 is missing. Maybe there's an SSD in here? I don't think this thing's had M.2. I don't know, we'll find out. Oh, I'm a dummy. HDD0. <laughs> it starts at zero. It's gonna take these four screws out and it should probably just lift right up out of there. Come out. So we got a Western Digital Black in there. Scorpio, that's pretty cool. Um, where is the 250 gigabyte? So I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'd, I'd like to put two hard drives in here. The original one um, in the second uh, position and then a SSD in here. It looks like we're missing an adapter to give us SATA 
power and data connections. And that sucks. I'll look into that. Um, I don't know. It's probably going to be worth more than I want to spend. So maybe I'll just put, because uh, I have a handful of SSDs laying around. And, um, in fact, I'll probably put this one in there, which is a 200, and, I think it's a 250 gigabyte. Next 300. And that was in there. Oh, 275. That's weird. Anyways, onward. So after poking around in here a little bit more, it looks like in there is one of the screws. In there is another one of the screws. Um, that is to remove the keyboard. And the other ones are going to be somewhere... Somewhere behind these left and right panels. So there's a couple of screws and Alienware has decided to go with Torx heads. Um, which isn't a problem, but that's kind of weird because everything else seems to be uh, Phillips. So why they would go with that um, is beyond me. So it turns out I was wrong about removing these screws and then removing these side panels here and here. Um, what I actually needed to do is go down in there and remove two of these long, two of these long screws uh, that go all the way into um, the top side of the laptop and allows you to remove your Alienware power button and buzzle. Uh, when you remove it, be careful because there is a small uh, ribbon cable that, I mean, you don't want to rip it, of course. You don't want to do any more damage than what's already been done to this thing. And now it's just a matter of removing these um, five screws and the entire keyboard should lift up and there's going to be another ribbon cable, so don't go yanking it off of there. Uh, and you will have removed the keyboard. And here is our prize. Last thing we have to do is remove the ribbon cable. Anyways, there we go. We win. So I'm going to put the new one in there. Um, but before I do that, this thing is absolutely disgusting in there. There's hair in it and dust. God, it's... I should probably be wearing a full mask and a hazmat. Um safety goggles maybe have a priest here throwing holy water around anyways uh, I'd kind of like to get this thing all cleaned up and do some testing on it and see whether or not you could use a computer like this in um, <laughs> I hate to say it but in 2021 well we're like three weeks away from 2022 so anyways um, yeah, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to put some new thermal paste on it and slap everything back together and see if it still works. So poking around in here, I discovered the front edge of the um, metal chassis, I guess you'd call it. This screw hole here, this whole tab is broken off. How, how rude do you have to be to this something like this, something this well made? to literally break the frame of it. I'm not seeing anywhere else. This, like this corner's not all bent up or broken. So how, how the hell did that... Man. I don't know, man. So I was... Do, well, first of all, I pulled the, the graphics card out of it. Um, God, look at that. I was thinking about putting it back together as is and then testing for thermals and, and doing all that, you know. Uh, look how much cooler I got it to run uh, just by replacing the thermal paste and, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's just so disgusting in here that I, I would be afraid to... I would be afraid that if I, I was put it through its paces and start running games and doing benchmarks on it that I, I would just burn it up or something like that at the very least burn up a fan trying to keep it cool. So I think what I'm going to do is take it all apart, clean it all up. Um, I'll document kind of the cool, interesting bits. Um, put new thermal paste on it and put it all back together. Cross my fingers that it still works when I'm done. 
and then I will have no reason to go back into it. Um, not that it was difficult to, to dig this far into it, but I don't like doing things twice. So that's what I think I'm going to do. That's gross. So that was a very slow and cautious battle, trying to get these two separated. The um, uh, To get the uh, CPU, not the CPU, the uh, GPU cooler uh, removed from the GPU uh, was really on there. Um, all of this, um, all of these thermal pads didn't make it easy. They're all pretty sticky after all these years. Um, can't really say the same for the thermal paste. It's pretty dry and crumbly doesn't really smear anymore. So I can't say that it's really doing its job too well anymore. So I'm gonna clean all that up with some isopropyl alcohol and my trusty toothbrush. And this will be in a lot better shape than it was. I've successfully cleaned it up, removed all the thermal paste. Now it's nice and clean, you can see the dye. Good times. So I removed the CPU fan. It's dirty enough by itself, but Holy crap, the entire thing is completely caked. I think I might have done that when I was pulling it out of there. But yeah, this is, this is why I decided to tear it apart um, before we started putting it through its paces because it, it literally has zero cooling. So kind of glad I did that. Oh, I wanted it to come off in one piece. Okay, I got the heat pipe set up off of there. Um, there is a lot of thermal paste on there. And this black stuff, which looks like it's maybe one step above like a thermal pad, was on our north bridge. And I think that's what leaked or heated up and, and went everywhere. So I'm going to clean that up. There's our CPU, but would you would you look at that? We could do an upgrade. Just got back in from outside. I used some compressed air to blow all the chunks out of this. We're not gonna go for squeaky clean because I'm not pulling. I can't really be asked to. I don't have the patience to pull the motherboard and all the other components out, separate screws, clean things up with a toothbrush and some uh, rubbing alcohol or anything like that. But I do got the time to blow out the chunks. That just sounds gross. Blow the chunks that were in here out of it and um, make it a little bit more presentable. Uh, the airways are clear, the fans are clean, and CPU uh, is going to be much happier uh, not being bathed in thermal compound and, um, you know, a fan that is completely stopped up with dust and dirt and debris and cat hair and Cheeto crumbs and whatever else was in this poor thing. Um, also, while I was out there, I noticed this, a second MXM uh, graphics card slot. And... Maybe I will spend a couple of bucks on this, see if I can't find a good deal. Um, you can upgrade the processor to like, I can't remember what they're called, X, like a 9500 or something like that, QX. I'll have to look that up. Maybe I'll put something on the screen. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's put this back together. Oh, uh, another thing I noticed, um, before I cleaned off the North Bridge compound from the CPU cooler, I noticed that it's kind of a rubbery, um, it's almost like a heat pad, but it's not quite, but it's so thick, like it didn't spread, um, you know, super thin when it was put on there. So I'm wondering if that, the copper of this cooler makes contact with the dye of the uh, North Bridge. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to chant, you know, take a chance. I'm just going to clean this up as best I can, get those 
hairs and dirt and chunks and stuff off of it and, and clean it up and put it back together. Um, the north bridge shouldn't be running super hot. It's, it's, I'm more concerned with the CPU cooler. So let me clean these up and put it on there and I'm going to start buttoning things back up and we'll see how well it runs. So I put the whole thing back together again and everything was looking alright and then I remembered that the monitor itself, the back casing was separating and peeking down inside I could see that it was just a series of um, little clips that need to be attached. And by that I mean, you've got, where are they? Yeah, these little cubbies here fit these little clips in the top. And then I just couldn't get them to line up. Uh, digging a little bit deeper, I found that the screws for these that hold it on, one was missing, one was rattling around inside of the, the monitor case. Um, on top of that, this one here, there's a little LED wire here that makes things difficult. This little guy, not a lot of room. So the connector that it screws into, at least on this side, is busted. And it just leads me to believe or wonder what what happened to this thing? <laughs> how is how can somebody beat something up so badly? And there was loose screws. All of these screws were loose, and that probably happened because it was it's the hinge um, for opening and closing the the laptop. But just look at how there shouldn't be all these like witness marks and wear marks. I don't know, man. <laughs> This poor computer, I, I kind of feel bad for it. Just finished getting it all back together. I gave it a quick wipe down, uh, a little bit of Windex here and there, and it's not looking too bad. There are some scuffs in the screen that I can't really do anything about. Um, they're kind of hard to see. Yeah, you can definitely see those. Um, there's nothing I can do about them. Uh, not that they're really that big a deal anyways, well, the first time that we started this up, it didn't seem to, to block anything. We'll see once I get an OS installed on it. Um, other than that, I, I just wanted to show out how clean it, it actually came out. Um, the only negative, the only thing I really couldn't uh, fix was this, uh, um, I guess where you'd uh, like armrest or trackpad bezel or whatever you want to call it. Um, all the clips are broken off. So it just kind of sits on there right now, and maybe I'll buy another one. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. I also removed that ridiculous Alien Alien logo. Um, don't worry though, we saved it. Right there. It'll live on the drawer stickers. I haven't tried powering it up yet, so let's plug it in and see if it even, you know, see if it even works anymore. That's not a good sign. And neither is that. Well, it looks like I broke it. I don't know how I did. I don't feel like I did. I, I don't remember breaking anything, but there it is. It doesn't doesn't work. So. There's a couple of things I can think of that I want to try. We'll do that in the next episode. But until then, go ahead and leave a like if you like this. If you didn't like it, please press dislike. Uh, if you do like what I've been doing, please press that subscribe button. And I'll try and get more videos out in the future. It's kind of a slow process with me, but I do have a few projects in the making. You might have seen a few of them in the background while filming this video. Anyways. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.